homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're planting onions, but we're not planting onion sets. You can go back and see the video where we planted onion sets and the difference between onion sets and what we're planting today. What we're gonna to plant today, these, and I'd like to say I grew them in my greenhouse, but I don't have a greenhouse yet, so hopefully we get that built this year. Depends on what this virus does, but we're not gonna worry about that today. Uh, I've got two different varieties here. I've got a Spanish, which makes a great big up to two pound onion. And I've got a Grand X that makes a smaller, flatter onion. But let me preface this. This is probably my greatest failing on the homestead. I have tried and tried and tried to grow great big onions. I haven't had a whole lot of luck, but I'm going to try it again this year. And uh, I'm going to grow these two different varieties. Now, I still use my pipe planter, but it's a little different. Here's my pipe planter. And uh, if you go back and look at our video on planting onion sets, you'll see how to use the pipe planter. Well, I could use the pipe planter the same way, but there's a little problem and I'll show you. All right, here's the problem. Here is a typical onion set. Do you see the problem already? Okay, it's real straightforward. Do you see the problem? The pipe and I drop it. What do you see? There's that onion set still right there. But there's another way to do it. And let's go out in the field and I'll show you how. One of the first things you want to do, I use my apron from a local, local hardware store. I'm not going to say which one. Anyway, they don't sponsor this video. I put them in my apron and I'm ready to go plant. So let's get in the field and show you how. Now, if I've got a good straight one, I can take that straight one, and some of these are straight and some aren't. By and large, the majority are not straight. And I can take a straight one and just drop it right down the tube and do it just like the sits. But nine times out of 10, it gets stuck in the tube. So I've come up with another way to use it, and it starts like this. I take my sets, or my slips, these are onion slips, and I drop them. Oop. About a foot apart. Again, everything's about not bending. So I drop them about a foot apart. I take the tube, boom, push it right down in the dirt. See how easy that is? There they are, planted. You don't have to, no fuss, no muss. Do a couple more for clarity. Again, you just drop them. Well, they're going to be a pretty good distance apart. And then push them right in. Now, I've probably got enough to do about a 100-foot row. It's supposed to rain tonight, so it'll be good for them. And I'm going to get at that.
okay, managed to beat the rain. Uh, it's sprinkling, so it's here. Uh, it made a 130 foot row. About each bundle, the first bundle went about 75 feet. And then the Grand X bundle didn't go nearly as far. I figured there would be more. I don't know how many's in a bundle. Maybe there's a hundred. I don't know. But it went about 75 feet. So if you consider about eight inches a piece, that's probably about right. I remembered as I was going down the row, I did have success with Grand X before. But Grand X is only an onion about that big around and only about that tall. They're a little flat onion. In 2008, I grew some from seed. The, the winter before, I grew them seed and set them out this way, and I got onions, oh, that big around and that thick. So I'm hoping to do better this year. So, but the one thing about onions is, I'll tell you this about the onion sets. I've always had success with those because we always grew them for green onions. If you let the weeds take them, there won't be no onions. Let me say that again. If you let the weeds take them, there won't be no onions. Uh, onions kind of a old timey, uh, real, how do I say it, primitive plant. And the leaves that do the photosynthesis are very small. So if you let the weeds, they'll outcompete them. So now if you like this kind of stuff, oh, before I do that, what I'll do with these, I'll give them a couple of days to establish. Then I'll come back and feed them with a liquid fertilizer. Then, in about two weeks, I'll come back and put down a long-acting granular fertilizer. Now, how that'll do, I don't know. I've never had luck growing big onions. If you think you know a better way to do it, leave it in the comments, because I could sure use the help. Okay? Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead and stuff every week, sometimes five times a week. We upload videos every Sunday. So now, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.